Hey, how's it going, you cheeky little bastards? It's me, TRC, and today I have some more Pokemon Ultra Moon for you guys. So, like always, I hope you're excited for today's episode. Anyways, last episode, we did some awesome stuff. We helped this guy find his Meowth after it got lost. I don't think the Meowth likes him very much, but apparently he does. We also found this new area over here where we can go surf on Mantine after we beat Kahuna Hala, so that'll be cool, I guess. Anyways, we're on our way to uh, Elima's trial, so let's go. Actually, let's see who we got up front. Right now. I think we have Bombshell. Yeah, let's put... Uh, we'll go with Fu, I guess. Hey guy, battle me. My Murkrow just loves shiny, sparkly things. Does it like dazzling gleams? I'm guessing not. Mr. Gentleman Stanley. He's got a Murkrow. Alright. Hey Murkrow. You're about to catch this moon blast. Ugh. Nice. Murkrow, you must shine brighter. He's actually moving. That's kind of weird. Most of them don't move. Alright then. Don't be mad at your Murkrow though, dude. Pokemon and trainers are, with a good bond, always seem to be shining brightly. It sounds to me like you like shiny things. Let's see what's here, though. Berry Fields. Last time, this is where Team Skull was bothering this guy. Hey, Deli Bird. Huh, you and Cutie Fly are doing the Island Challenge? Great. Let me give you a berry, then. Foreign berries can restore some of a Pokemon's HP for them. You can feed a berry to a Pokemon or let it hold one, and they'll eat it when they need it. By the way, young one, are you interested in becoming a berry master? Yes. You look quite promising. Alright, first of all, get a person berry. Is there one in here? Hey! All right. We got all kinds of person berries, bruh. Let me see, did you get a person berry? Whoa, you have a person berry! I don't know if you picked it from a berry tree or your Pokemon had it, but that's a great start to becoming a berry master. I'll offer this as a reward. Oh, we got a citrus berry, nice. A person berry heals confusion, a petra berry heals poison status, and a citrus berry restores more HP than an orange berry. Lola's great. You can get plenty of berries without planting berries in a berry field. But some Pokemon gather around trees trying to get berries as well. Cool. I actually really like the berry fields in X and Y. A big mushroom though ladies <laughs> let me stop <laughs> oh hey speaking of ladies these are the berry fields but there aren't any berry trees growing here you want to know why because this isn't Kalos duh well you see we came here to Alola region thinking to help spread the word about using fertilizer in the berry fields here, too. The town where we come is called Camphire Town in Kalos. <laughs> Grows plenty of berries in the fields nearby, and we use fertilizer to help our berries. But in the Alola region, people don't have to do a thing to help berries grow. 
You can sit back and let nature and Pokemon do all the work. And you'll have more berries than you'll know what to do with. And that's why we stop bothering with trying to farm the fields here. In fact, now we're the ones who are enamored with Alolan berry culture. My new dream is to become a true berry master here in Alola. You need help? With Pokemon and rich nature provide all the berries we could ever need. Maybe I should start to try and grow some tasty veggies in the field here instead. True. There's a sticker right there, though. Yoink. 13. Hey. Silver powder. Ooh! Nice! We can give that to, uh... We can give this to Fu. Nice. Get everything organized. If I remember correctly, there's a deli bird in here that gives us an item. I don't remember which one though. Flap. I think it's this one. Hey! Got a revive. Nice! And another sticker. I'm getting all the stickers. Dibs, man. Alright, let's keep going. I thought they had brought back the fields for a little bit, and I was like, oh, I get to plant all my berries. But no. Oh, it's the ultra... Verdant cavern. It's showing very high numbers. It would. In the heart of this cave lies an item that has one undeniable connection to the blinding one. I certainly would like to investigate this place. Shall we go in, then? No. It seems that people are not allowed within this verdant cavern without specific reason. We should ask the president to arrange for some special accommodations on our behalf. We don't yet have the means to capture Pokemon on our own, after all. I think that's the voice I gave him. Those folks don't look like anyone else I've ever seen around Alola. That's a little racist, Rotom. <laughs> Try to take another person's Pokemon makes you no different than a thief. <laughs> True. Yo, the camera angles got me a little. Did they change this route? Or was it like this and the camera angles just like totally different? I think it was similar. Maybe, I don't know. Battle me, Miss Isabella. Flabebe. Yo, did they add Flabebe to this region? Oh, that'd be cool. Alright, Foo. Hit him with that fat moon blast. Ugh. Nice. Do it again. Very nice. Oh, right. I forgot that I suck at battling. <laughs> I just really like Pokemon, so win or lose, I'm happy. Cool. Let's bring Demise up front. Let's see what's going on here. 
Hey, Hal, how's it going? How's it, TRC? Your Pokemon doing all right? Yeah, they're fine. Well, I know Rel and the rest of my team have seen better days, that's for sure. Come on, TRC. Let's stop by the PMC. Hey, I see what you did there, Hal. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Oh man, that was dumb. <laughs> you know that Verdant Cavern place, right? I guess it's kind of like sacred to Tapu Koko. You aren't even allowed to go into it unless you're on your island challenge. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, TRC, you lucky thing. Some more revives? Bruh. I think we have like 20 revives right now. <laughs> Revives are solid items to have. If your Pokemon faints in battle and can't go on, then a revive will perk them right back up. But you probably won't find revives here. Did you know that Pokemarts sometimes sell different things? And not just that. The two clerks on the counter even sell different things from one another. Oh yeah, but you've got that Rotom Dex, right? If you tap it and play with it a lot, you can use Roto... Lodo? Roto Lodo? Roto Lotto? What is that? That's right. Give me a tap when my eyes flash. Awesome. Do it, TRC. Do it. Try Roto Lodo for me. Just touch my eyes when they flash and see what you get. Ooh, congrats. We can use the Roto Lodo now. It's a new feature that pops out special powers just like that. Come on, give it a try. Oh, I guess it's Roto -lo Lotto. Do I just stop it? Oh. Hey, look at that. That's an amazing power. Two Roto Boosts. Roto Boost is a power that boosts the stats of your Pokemon. What? That's so cool. Roto Lotto can even make your team stronger. I wonder what other kind of Rotom powers there are, too. That's some special Rotom power. Hope it helps out with the trial. Is it like an item? It's got a new thing right here. One of the Rotom powers, it raises all stats of your battling Pokemon. Do you give it to someone? I don't... Do you use it in battle? Dude, that's crazy! And I did that wrong. It's like, what were they called? Were they called Z-Powers, I think? In X and Y? With that creepy-ass Mr. Bonding guy? Whenever I am sleeping, my Oracorio comes in at some point and falls asleep on my tummy. Oh, that's cute. Hey, you have a moment. Have you a moment? You live here in Alola, right? I've got a favor I'd like to ask. Do you mind? No problem. What you need, girl? Wow, thank you. I'm so glad that you would listen to a request from a total stranger like me. I'm actually here in Alola with my darling hubby. It's our honeymoon. When we were looking for berries, we saw this Pokemon called Crabrawler. My darling hubby fell in love at first sight with Crabrawler. Anyway, I wanted to ask if you would catch one of those Crabrawler for me. If I know what kind of Pokemon it is, then I can probably go catch one myself. You may be able to find Crabrawler in this pile of fallen berries. If you catch one and come back to me and show its Pokedex entry to me, I can pay you for your trouble. Dude, Toast, I got you. Hello, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Have you got Spearow? Will you trade it for my Halucha? Bruh. I mean, if I had one, I would totally do it. If you give your Pokemon berries to hold, they can eat them when they're already in battle. But manufactured healing items like potions are no good as health items. Pokemon can't use them on their own. Totes. Does this guy have Luxury Balls? He had Luxury Balls in the last game. 
Let me see if I got anything to sell, though. These X items. I don't use those. I'm not a cheater. Drugs are bad, okay? Except mushrooms. Mushrooms are great, but they're also worth a lot of money, so you can sell them. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got. Super push. Oh, he's got them. He's got them. by 10 of them those are the best balls all right let's see let's see if we can go get a crabrawler for this ch this little chicky d here if pokemon's move lands as a critical hit it'll be 50 percent more damage cool with your sticker look at the endless sea I want to ride a Mantine to the next island and see what waits there. Cool. Okay, that dude wants to battle. We might battle him. Let's see if we can get a Crabrawler from this berry tree, though. Looks like there's usually someone standing right there. No! You're supposed to pop out at me! Oh. Unfortunate. Well, let's battle this dude. I think we'll save the trial for the next one. I'm looking for berries to have my Pokemon hold. Alright. Cool, Mr. Breeder. Breeder J. Oh no, we have freaking... Oh, we have Demise out. Okay, I was gonna say we have Foo out front. It's not good. Let's go with... Let's go with a barrier. Ugh. Defense for days, homie. Uh, super effective. Demise don't care. Oh. Yo, do that again, Demise. Oh. Yes. Watch him pull out Sucker Punch from nowhere. I think it actually gets Sucker Punch's egg moves. Yo! That'd be cool if they let the Pokemon breeders have egg moves on their mons. That would actually be really cool. Oh, if only I'd given Rock Thorf a berry to hold. That's a good idea. Game Freak should hire me. <laughs> Gotta revive. Jump down. And here's Alima's trial. Greetings, Captain Alima here. And my trial begins mere steps from here in Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokemon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you're prepared for some potions and so forth. Through attempting the trials during the island challenge, one can exceed his or her own limits. That is what the alone people believe. Once you enter Vernet Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you have completed the trial. Are you prepared for the trial? No. Please make your preparations. I'll be waiting for you. 
I think we'll save that for the next episode. But I really want to get this Crabrawlic. Can I? There's used, there was a lady standing right here. She was like right here. And she was like, you can't go any further. Because you're a little punk ass bitch. Who hasn't done the trial. <laughs> Well then, I guess we can't help this lady. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, we'll take on the trial. So I hope to see you guys then, and... Hopefully we don't get wrecked too hard. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode, so until then... Deuces. For nine.